Alright, so in today's video, I'll be showing you guys some of the best tricks and tools to make your Windows PC look much more cleaner and useful. Although one of the tools will be paid, I will also be showing a free alternative so not to worry. Other than that, all the tools will be free. I'm going to be linking everything that I show in the description down below, so feel free to check it out. Make sure you join my Discord server if you have any problems or questions regarding this video, and I hope you enjoy. Okay, so the first software I'll be showing you guys is called Taskbar X. This is already a pretty well-known taskbar customizer and offers a wide range of useful tools to change the look and the movement of your taskbar. From the position of your applications to the background color of your taskbar, Taskbar X has it all. Here are my settings just in case you want to test them out for yourself. Anyways, it's not that big of a deal, but that's the first tool, so let's move on to the next one. Okay, so the next tool is actually a paid software, but I will be showing a free alternative after this, so hang tight. So the software I want to show you guys is called Wallpaper Engine. Again, this is a very well-known software, so if you already know this, go ahead and skip the video and check out some other tools if you would like. So Wallpaper Engine actually offers a gallery of amazing wallpapers, static or animated, and it has a bunch of wallpapers, anything you can ever imagine, okay? Just go ahead and search it up if you don't believe me. But for just three to four bucks, you can literally get like thousands of wallpapers just for yourself to pick out for yourself. If I were you and if I had a couple bucks laying around in your PayPal or whatever, I'm definitely going to be getting this because this is absolutely a must buy if you want to make your windows look clean. Anyways, the wallpaper I'm using right now is called Desert at Night 4K by Ron Tablet. So make sure to check it out if you would like, but let's move on to the next tool. Okay, so I said that I'll be showing you guys a free alternative for Wallpaper Engine, and I actually made an entire video for this, and the software is called Lively. I'll be linking the video in the description down below right now, or on the right top of the screen, so make sure to click it and visit it if you want to know how to get it for free. Okay, so for the next trick, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get these awesome custom taskbar icons that you can get for completely free and actually pretty easily, so yeah. So first what you want to do is go ahead and visit one of these websites called Icons 8 or Flat Icon depends on what you like and just go ahead and search up a application name. So for example, I'm going to be searching up Discord. Or if you want to, you can go ahead and visit Flat Icon and search Discord as well or you know whatever your application name is. So these two websites actually offer a completely free set of amazing icons that you can use for your taskbar icons. So I'm going to be going to icons 8 for today's video. So I'm going to be closing over flat icons. So what you want to do is just go ahead and look around to find the icon you would want to use. So I'm going to be clicking this one and I'm going to go ahead and click recolor to the color whatever you would like. I'm going to be using red for today and I'm going to go ahead and click download. And then go ahead and try to select the maximum possible sizes as you can and then go ahead and click download as PNG. Now once you get your icon downloaded right here, all you want to do is go to the link in the description down below. This is convertico.com. This free website is going to let you convert this .png to a .ico which you're going to be using later to change the icon from this taskbar. So go ahead and drag this file onto the website and then let it convert. Once it's converted, just go ahead and download it. Okay, so now that you've got your ICO downloaded as your Discord logo, all you want to do is right click the Discord logo on your taskbar and then you want to right click the application name right here and then click properties. That's going to open up this window called whatever your application name is properties. All you want to do after that is go ahead and click change icon, browse and then find the downloaded icon right here. Now once you click open, OK and then apply. Now all you want to do is click apply and then once you restart your PC, it should be fully updated with your brand new red discord icon. Okay, so for the final tool I want to show you guys is actually a bonus tool and it is called everything search. Now all you want to do is hit a keybind on your key. Now this is a really useful tool when searching for files in your computer that's lost somewhere and you literally can't find it. I have that problem a lot, especially in File Explorer, because whenever I try to search something inside a File Explorer, I just can't find it and it's impossible. With everything search, you can literally find anything you want. So for example, I'm going to be searching for Discord logo and it's literally going to search my entire computer folder 
just for the discord logo keyword and then i can open it and it's right here so if you often have problems finding files or folders or anything i think this is a tool just for you so to download this just go ahead and go to the website that's linked down below it's called voidtools.com downloads i think it's made by void tools and all you want to do is click download everything 1.4.1 or whatever the version it is click the download installer and if you have a 64-bit computer just go ahead and click that now this is a really simple step but all you want to do is click the downloaded exe go ahead and click ok with your language i agree choose your install location settings and data location anything you would like but i'd advise you to put it on the default one and then ntfs indexing install everything service should be good click next and then go ahead and copy down my checkboxes or just customize it as the way you like and then click install i'm not going to be clicking it again because i already have it installed but yeah that's it anyways that's it for today's video i really hope you guys enjoyed or learned something new today i hope i was able to make your windows pc look a little bit better i hope you enjoy and make sure to subscribe and like the video if you enjoyed make sure to join my discord and i'll catch you guys in the next one bye